In this video, I'm going to talk about the new custom matches that you can do. And they're really easy. Just go ahead and click on events up here and you can see how they are right here. You can select all these different ones. Now, not a lot of people are playing them uh, out here in North America, but this one, for example, you can play Normandy and so on and so on. Big difference is you can do Lone Fighter in there. Now, Lone Fighter is not so hardcore. In other words, you get the HUD and all that and you get markings and the mini map and so forth but it is with no bots so you can have with bots out here see the squads and without bots and just pick whatever you like some people hate some maps and others I'm gonna go up my sniper team right here first thing you're gonna notice when you get in the game it's nice and lonely normally you'd spawn with a bunch of bots you're used to having your bots with you but it is gonna be lonely therefore the game tactics and strategy will change when you get out there you got to be careful extra careful now not to be out in the open because a lot of times in the open your bots will get shot but not you uh, but now if they see you in the open people are going to go for it and for example this spot right here it's pretty quiet you know usually there's nobody here but what i'm going to do is this forces me to take some shots then I, and i hear a guy out here and you've got to take your shots as you may not see a guy uh, or an enemy for quite a while and there he is and usually this is a difficult shot but I'm gonna hit him with a tracking shot if you miss that check out my sniper tutorial video and I finish him off another thing that you're gonna notice it's kinda weird is that uh, when the Germans are playing you're gonna notice that even in this campaign which you haven't seen big tanks but you will see for example the Panzer IV out here the long barreled 75 and here's another guy you gotta take that shot even though I miss him and he's in the bushes he doesn't know I'm there and that's what's amazing it's just like in real life people don't know exactly know where you're shooting from normally the bots would turn if he had bots and they turn and they would uh, figure out where you're at and they tip him off and all or they start shooting back at you but this is what's kind of cool is they can't always tell where you're at so therefore really good positions like this tower are really gold big time gold I mean but you got to be careful because as you start taking down guys they're gonna figure it out and they're gonna come for you and all that but like I was saying you're gonna see some weird weaponry out here it's gonna be imbalanced in many ways and if you're not comfortable with that I wouldn't play it and also it's just one versus one no bots you gotta take that shot look at that shot right there have to take these crazy shots you only get one time to take a shot so like I was saying you're going to be out here and um, you're going to be up against some really tough weapon. In this game, um, the other team had a Panzer IV, long barreled 75mm and all that. No match. Uh, we, our A13s were no match for it. And we have just the cheapo ones and we couldn't kill it. Here's another example. See this guy? You just got to keep shooting him. You must kill and finish people off. Don't be like in the regular bot games where you shoot like three guys and then let them get killed by everybody else or let artillery take them down you got to finish what you started here because that may be the only chance you get at this guy and after you get a few kills in a spot you're gonna grab a lot of attention for example up here in this tower in the old days playing in not in bot matches I really wouldn't have to worry because they'll just go ahead and overrun my position or and I'll get to shoot them from behind or if my team was on advance they'd outrun me and I'd have to catch up to him. I'd only be able to fire a few times up here. So you're going to make these shots. You're going to have to take these tracking shots way, way out there. Because this is pretty much on this map. It's a sniper fest. And you're going to find that in Tunisia. A lot of other maps are going to be different. For example, Normandy. There will probably be a lot of shooting. But once again, it will favor the person that is, um, you know, got the better gear. Another thing you're also going to notice on these maps is since they're uh, really favor the snipers and people only have one character BAM take that guy right there is that you're gonna have a lot of cat and mouse games in this um, This mission right here. It took about 31 minutes I've had to cut out a lot of it because a lot of it's hunting for the bad guys But at the same time it brings up opportunities where you can really sneak behind lines if you're really smart and sneaky and you can go ahead and wreak havoc on them unlike when there are bots out there the big difference with all sorts of bots is that they can shoot you they can see you and they can alert uh, their you know the boss of the bot group where you are let's take him out don't let him live out there and um, you know so that's a big difference there too so should you play it or should you not I'll tell you what I think 
is if you like the bot games and like being able to shoot at the AI, which I do, I love being able to shoot some AI every once in a while, then those games are for you because these games are either going to be really slow or they're going to be really fast. Like I've seen some these matches over in like 10 minutes. Uh, just one side gets totally, totally steamrolled. So like I said, again, if if you don't mind that and if you're the kind of person that likes this challenge, bam, God, don't let him live, then this is for you, really. Um, some people just don't like the bots, but I do like, like I said, I like the PvE aspect to this game also. And the combination of both of those makes it a lot more fun. Seems like more people are in it and more exciting, faster action. But some people like knowing that it's just them against the other person and like i said this game is uh the one to do it they don't always know you're there you can be stealthy you can do some cool things in this if that's your uh your thing and you like that and uh, you can see here like they said that the challenges are there when i try to take these shots i got one time to take the shot if i miss that shot that may be the only time i get to to shoot the guy and um you know, but like I said, you're going to find differences. Like, okay, look at this guy here. Now, this is a little tricky little guy. He's just running around like that. Um, you're going to get that too. And he's not like the AI where the AI would just stand there and let you shoot them in the head right there. Uh, he's a little bit trickier to hit. And you got to think a little bit ahead of the time right here. So after you get a few hits, what's going to happen is they're going to come for you and they just end up bombing where I was and tanks start blasting. So... You know, you either got to move, but if you got a good position like that, you don't really want to move. You want to stay there because, it, like I said, it's gold. And But one thing is, look at this. I'm getting, since I get killed, I don't have a sniper. I went behind enemy lines. I got all the way back there, snuck up in here. And then I see a guy like this. Look at this. And fire, hit him once like that. And nope. And I miss again. And look at that, how bad a shot I am with that. He still doesn't know I'm there crazy now if he had ai he would be turning around they'd be firing at me and they'd give away my position but he's easy kill so just imagine yourself you get behind enemy lines you can go kill these guys and if you're really good and some players i've seen are really good they can do it or if you're like a sniper like me and you want to get this position get it believe it or not the guy that killed me one of the guys is in there somewhere hiding he's somewhere out there and he's a real sneaky sniper because sometimes he's up sometimes he's not and there you go they bomb me again Keep on, I mean, they, they devote a bomber to taking me out here. I mean, it's obviously where I am, but they're bombing me? Crazy. They don't do this in the, the bot campaigns. They just bomb objective points. But anyway, it's kind of cool that they'll actually do that. It's kind of like, wow, you know, they're going to go. Really, they're taking me seriously. They're going to bomb me. And so uh, let's find out where this guy is, you know. And this is the thing is it's cat and a mouse. Anytime you do this, guys can be ready to give you a headshot. And here's one guy. He's, nope, don't you dare do that at all. So once again, in recap, uh, if you like a little more challenge and it's not totally hardcore, hardcore, and it's not totally bot and uh, person, it's kind of in between, then these custom matches for you, you sneaky guy. I'm going to, it's payback time now. There we go. But yeah, look what happened now. Oh, boom. And I got a tank shooting at me or whatever. And bam. Oh my gosh. It just hits like a truck. Anyway, but like I said, you have to accept that if you get unbalanced, uh, teams like your team doesn't have for some reason doesn't have the tank then um, that could be the end of it you know you get a big tank like that and it could just get kill after kill and they can hold off positions and are pretty much invulnerable so I like it like I said the old way where it's balanced let's take a look at the score right here we did lose but I've had other ones where we won just like by doing almost nothing at all like the other team didn't even put up a fight it seemed like so just real lopsided unlike uh, other uh, bot matches where they're more even. So anyway, you got 12 kills in this one. It was still fun. And let's go up and let's see what we get here. Uh, yep, I got 12 and 4, and I'm the range sniper.